Hello guys. So for all of you going through a hard time right now, there is comfort, the great comforter, the Holy Spirit. And may that same Spirit who comforts me comfort you in your distress. And also, may He also comfort you through His Word. And so this is just a compilation of all the verses that have touched me in my deepest, darkest moments and I put them together and it became a letter. It became a love letter from God. And like we all know that the Bible is God's love letter to us. And in almost every single, actually in every single story, each of the verses are screaming His love out for us, His church, His people. Why else do you think God repeats over and over again? You are my people and I am your God. You are my people and I am your God. Over and over again. So, let's get started. Oh, and this letter, I'll also put it in the description box if you want to read along. And this is all scripture, guys. My beloved, arise, my darling, my beautiful one, and come away with me. You have captured my heart. You are altogether beautiful, my love. There is no flaw in you. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. For the mountains may move and the hills disappear, but even my faithful love for you will remain. My love endures forever. Dwell in hope. These three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. You are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I have made, and I will bear. I will carry, and I will save. I have called you by name, and you are mine. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Do everything in love. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. Be still and know that I am God. I will not leave you or forsake you. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate you from my love. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. The pain that you've been feeling can't compare to the joy that's coming. Wait for me. Be strong and take heart and wait for me. Behold, I am coming soon. I am your dwelling place for all eternity and underneath are my everlasting arms. With love, God. Oh guys, that is so wonderful. And here's another one. This one is for when you are suffering from oppression and yeah, here's a letter for that. My beloved, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, 
for I have overcome the world. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through my love. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Can two walk together except they be agreed? I say, walk by the Spirit. Therefore, as you have received me, so walk in me. Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. And I will walk among you and will be your God and you shall be my people. I am your only rock and your salvation, your fortress. You shall not be shaken. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. With man it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. I will teach you what you cannot see. Those who hope in me will renew their strength. Trust in me with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. My spirit has made you, and the breath from me gives you life. I have granted you life and steadfast love, and my care has preserved your spirits. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. I have made, and I will bear. I will carry, and I will save. Sincerely, God. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope that gives you motivation to look at your Bible and read through your Bible, finding those gems. Instead of reading through your Bible just to try to get some understanding, how about read it to try to find a character of God, trying to get to know God better through His Word. Let's say like this. Let's say you're a princess and you're waiting for... Um, a prince that you do have not met yet and then the prince write letters to you or or let's say you're a wife and your husband is at war and and then the husband writes love letters to you read the Bible like it's a love letter and then not only will you feel more connected to God through his own words but you'll get to know more about him and knowing God that is eternal life you know eternal life is not just living forever like the people in hell, they have eternal life. Oof. But Jesus said, this is eternal life. To know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. To know him, that is eternal life because every time you find that revelation, every time the Holy Spirit reveals to you those sparkling gems that make you just adore Jesus more and more within your heart of hearts and make you see him and adore him every time you read it. These verses were the verses, those little gems that spoke out to me about God's character. And they, they, every time I read those verses, they just make me fall in love with him more and more because they display his great immense love through his words. So guys, read the Bible again but look for something different. Look for God in His Word. Have fun, guys. I hope this video has blessed you and encouraged you. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.